Let's have a look at the two teams then. Paul Sykes, 41 years old, makes his 150th Dewsbury Rams appearance. He's partnered at half back by Jake Sweeting. Jimmy Beckett celebrates his 23rd birthday. He starts in the front row. And the Huddersfield Lonies, Aidan McGowan, Robson Stevens, and John Luke Kirby will look to add to their championship experience. What about the Batley Bulldogs then? Three losses in a row for them. White and Gilmore at half back again. Luke Hooley at full back's been attracting the Super League club's attention. George Senior also celebrates the birthday today. He partners Kieran Buchanan in the centres. And Manning and Walshaw, an experienced back row duo. We're about to get underway for the Rams at the bash. And they're working it down the short side. Nice missile pass down the touchline. They go. And the ball back on the inside. And Sweeting is going to score. Lovely play down the short side from the Dewsbury Rams. And they draw first blood. Lovely break. Ball back on the inside. And Sweeting's over for his first Dewsbury try. Yeah, it's a super pass from um, a player that you identified before the game. It's Paul Sykes who goes to the line. The, the old campaigner, the old stager, throws it across the centre to the winger who goes scorching down the sideline. It's a wonderful pass from Paul Sykes. Absolutely on the money, and then Sweeting, as any good halfback does do, Leon, you'll know much more about that than me, but just continues up the field, doesn't it? It's a great pass, isn't it, on the outside from Paul Sykes. Adam Ryder down the sideline, back inside to Sweeting. What a start for the Rams, great start. Lewis Carr's calling for it on this near side, but they're going down the short side again. No, they're not, Butterworth's going, and Butterworth's going to get there! Outstanding bit of skill! What a bit of talent that was, a sidestep! Expose the Batley defence and Reese Butterworth is over. Fourth try of the season for him. That was all about the individual skill. Fantastic piece of skill from Butterworth. If you see him, just plays with his eyes up. He sees that the first marker's over chasing him. The first marker goes too far past the ball, and then the second marker doesn't fill in, uses his footwork, speed, vision, guile to get to the try line. First marker goes too far, and then it's just about his left foot step, goes through two to finish. Fantastic piece of individual brilliance from Bruce Bowworth. Fantastic try, Paul. Lucas Walshaw wanted to be a winning one, but there's work to be done. As now they move it through the hands, Meadows gets it away, and Dane Manning is through the veteran. Over for his ninth of the season. Meadows not been on the field too long, but that pass was right on the money. The Bulldogs are on the ball. Well, Leon called for it, didn't he? Leon called for the halfbacks to step up, and uh, and so they did. Ben White plays to, to Meadows. Meadows goes at the line and spoke about Dame Manning pre game. The subtle line change of Dame Manning, you'll just see it here on replay. One, two, pass out the back to Meadows, and then he just changes his line from the inside shoulder of Sweeting to the outside shoulder. And as subtle as that is, it's so such a big space that opens up. Greensmith's gone past the ball. Sweeting's got no chance, and Dane Manning puts his team back in the game. Ferguson jumps in at dummy half, gets the ball away to Sykes. Sykes just stands up the kick. Hooley's going to have to come into traffic. Ball's on the ground. Jewsbury have touched it down. Sykes has got the score. Just what the Rams needed. The old boy is over. Sykes in for his second of the season. Well, he's been kicking them to death. It was his high kick that caused the problems. And he was on hand to touch it down. It's super, isn't it? And I mentioned it earlier. Give the ball to Paul Sykes and let him kick it. No matter where he kicks it, he's turning to gold at the minute. It just puts it into an area again, which makes it makes it a competition between his players. And I think it... You'll find it again, it's the fullback who gets in and around the play. He does, comes off his head, goes forward, touched down by Paul Sykes. But again, it's all about Aidan McGowan who just ca carries on his run and gets involved with Luke Hooley. He's tackled a metre away. Burton White's still in the back of his head there, but gets up to play the ball. Now they'll swing it to Meadow. Short pass are over. And it's a birthday try for George Senior. He's over his fourth of the season. On his 23rd birthday, he'll have enjoyed that one. And the Batley Bulldogs are right back in this match. Dewsbury's, well, overzealous players being penalised. It's Dewsbury 20, Batley 10. It's great play, it's great vision from the dummy half. It's a switch play, like a reverse play. Going from the, up, from the open to the blind. And it's just the ball, it goes straight to the line. It's a short lead, Sykes goes past the ball. It's a fantastic play by Meadows. Burton sees the switch late. Manning goes to the line. It's a great short ball to Senior, who is a great line, great timing. Sykes goes past the ball, leaves him one-on-one -on -one with the halfback. 
He's too big, too strong from there. Great finish. Last one. White has it. Five away. They're going down the short side. Ball over the top. Chance for Morton. And he's over in the corner. Dale Morton, the former Jewsbury man. 17th try of the season. Just his 14th appearance. He won't get too many easier than that. But the Jewsbury Rams down to 12. And Batley are back within four. Yeah, take nothing away from the attack here, but makes it really, really easy for him, doesn't he? On this left edge, David Dixon gets up and in front of the, the centre inside of him. You'll just see here he's caught in no-man's land, isn't he? And that gives Tom Gilmore the opportunity to float that pass over the top. It's fantastic execution. David just gets caught, doesn't he, looking at Hooley and he'd be really disappointed with that, David Dixon. The Bulldogs within striking distance here. Meadows now, bodies out the back, gets it to Hooley. Here's Morton, there's his second of the night. And we're all level. Jewsbury 20, Batley 20. The Bulldogs going through the hands. And Morton is at the double. It's another try for him, 18 for the season. It might be the one that nudges the Bulldogs in front. And it's really smart play. We can't really have too much of a go at the, the fullback, Aidan McGowan. It's the first one he's dropped tonight. He doesn't really look like he's going to get it. He heads it, doesn't he? And that gives the Bartley Bulldogs a repeat set. And then we've just got some really good hands, hasn't we? Everybody in motion. The ball to Meadows, on to Hooley. Did really well to collect that. And they've attacked, that, they've attacked the centre of McGowan, who's, who's put Ryder into fullback because he's struggling with cramp. It's really smart play from the Batley Bulldogs. They go level with the try from Dale Morton, he's 18 for the season. They've got a kick to make it a two-point ball game in their favour and they've never been in front in this game. Yeah, they're just, they're just struggling at the moment. Here's the kick, here's the oh, kick, kick from the sideline, Tom Gilmore. Kicks it and Batley are in front. They've got to go short here. They do go short, but not short enough. Batley get the ball back. And that might just do it. That's it. That might just do it. The Batley Bulldogs, inspired by that man, James Meadows, came off the bench, had a huge second half for Batley. Greg Lingard would have looked at this trip and wondered what was to come. Well, they didn't have it all their own way. Jewsbury led 20 points to six at the break after Sweeting, Butterworth and Sykes scored three tries. Dave Manning with a sole effort for the Bulldogs. But Senior on his birth then and a double for Dale Morton. Made sure that Batley got the victory. Disappointment for the Jewsbury Rams who played their part. All the reaction to come here on Premier Sports, but Craig Lingard's side end the run of three successive defeats, their hopes of a top four finish. Well, they're still in their own hands, but they've got to go to Lee, they play Bradford next week. It's not going to be easy for Batley.